Amen. I praise Jesus. I praise Jesus indeed. Uh, last Sunday, uh, Pastor Eddie, uh, Pastor Eddie, I know what to be at is the one who told us that uh, the way we are supposed to take a step for Christ. But you cannot make, take those steps unless you know Christ. And he showed us ways leading to Jesus to know him. And previously, uh, we learned about parables and the parables of Jesus. Uh, if I remember well, we started with the parable of the good steward. And then when Jesus would speak often through parables, he would talk about the steward, he would talk about the servant, and he would talk about the disciple, and he would talk even about and even a lover. Actually, he was talking to the same group of people. And he was also speaking to us. So we should also see this that it concerns us uh, in those uh, parables. So we started with the good steward. Uh, who realized that he had fulfilled what the master had commanded him to do. And we also saw the bad steward who actually mismanaged what had been entrusted to him. And then when that steward got to know that he's about to be chased away, so he started saving for himself even though he was a bad steward uh, so God showed us a lesson that we need to save and, and prepare for the future we also learned about another parable uh, so we'll, the last time we learned about the parables uh, uh, it was um, a parable about humility that in humility that is when that is when that is when a person is exalted therefore uh, I today I'll continue to talk about the parables I'll also talk through parables so when we look at all these parables that I have just mentioned except the one about humility uh, we see that there is a parable which says that you have your role to play but beyond Afterward, the owner of the things will come audit. and to, to, to do the, an audit or to settle accounts to see whether people have done well what they were supposed to do. So there is time to be given. There is also time uh, where the boss is no longer focusing on what you do no, no. Well, but as you continue to proceed Akaza, he comes to hold you accountable for what you did when he was not around Amen. so I told you that parables 
Or when they talk about stewards, they are actually talking to us. So it means that there is something that Jesus has given to us. So we are in the middle. So that's what all these parables are talking about. And even the parable I'm no, no, about to, is the same. So there's a place we reach to and they will come to hold us accountable to audit us. Now they will come and ask the things that we were entrusted with. Now how is the status today? How did you manage them? Hallelujah. Amen. Are you listening? So we should not just consider them as parables. But we are actually being told. So I will proceed from there. So where I'm going to proceed from so let us work with zeal as we wait upon the Lord and this is what I was telling you so here the king has given to us uh, who acknowledges that there is something that God has given to them Amen. all of us actually at least all of us we can say God has given us life but even though you stop from there so you can stop no, no. from there it's okay now he has given you that life now we have reached a point where there is no one to survive us to check whether we have worked or not it is as if Jesus said you are mature enough you can work by yourself so now we are in the ministry we are all of us working so wherever you are you are in God's ministry so one day therefore one day now the auditors will come the auditor will come one day God will come to hold you accountable and then he will open the book And this is what we are going to focus on. We are going to look at uh, at a servant or servant but we uh, who will be for us an example and then we'll follow the example of those who did well and those who did not do well we should really uh, get rid of that amen 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 so we're going to read in Luke uh, chapter 19 and we'll start from verse 11 so the title says the parable of the ten minas mina minas uh, it was money actually in Israel they didn't say brother Moses so the their currency was a denarius talent and a talent and shekel they also had mina as a currency therefore if we say it well in King Rwanda, uh, so it is um, a parable of uh, treasures of properties of money. Of money. Yeah, of yeah. money. Mm. Amen. Amen. Moses and now because it's a long passage uh, those who have Bibles in other languages can read in the meantime from Luke 19 uh, starting from verse 11 to 27 Now when Jesus saw that the crowd 
kandi kuko bibwiraga ko ubwami bw'Imana bugiye kuboneka uwo mwanya nuko aravuga ati hari ho umuntu w'imfura wazindukiye mu gihe cy'akuri kwimikirwa yo yamara kwimu akagaruka akagaruka ari umwami nuko ahamagara abagaragu be 10 ataragenda ahamagara abagaragu be 10 abahamina cyangwa abaha amafaranga 10 arababwira ati mube muzigenzura mube muzigen muzigenzura kugeza aho nzazira ariko ingabo ze zaramwangaga zimukurikiza intumwa ziti uyu nti tumushaka ko nti dushaka kwa dutegeka amen turi hamwe kuri 15 uh, together we are on verse 15 agarutse amaze kwimikwa ategeka ko bahamagara babagaragu basige basi yasige za feza ngo amenye urugenzo umuntu wese muri bo yagenzuye tumenagatandatu uwa mbere araza ati mwami mina yawe yavuyemo izindi mina 10 aramubwira ati nuko nuko mugaragu mwiza kuko wakiranutse kugito kugito cyane nuko ube umutware w'imisozi 10 hazo wa kabiri ati mwami Mina ya yawe yavuyemo mina eshanu. Uwana wara mubgira tinawe tukwara imisozi itanu. Undaraz, ala mubgira tinawe, dore mina yawe, nara ibitse, ipunyitse, mugitambaru. Kuko, naguti nyeko urumunyamuaga. Ujana, ibyo utabitse, ugasarura, ibyo utabibji. Ala mubgira tinawe, ndaguchi rubanza kubyo uvuzi wa mugaragu mubiwe waruzi uko ndumunya mwaga ko njana ibyo nta ntabitse ko nsarura aho ntabibye niki niki cyakubujije guha abagenzi feza yanje ngo bayigenzure maze naza nkayitwarana n'urugenzo rwayo abwira bahagaza aho ati ni mu mwake mina ye muyihe ufite mina 10 abantu baramubwira bati mwami ko afite 10 arabasubiza ati ndababwira yuko ufite azahabwa ari kudafite azakwa nicyo yarafite kandi babanzi banje batakunze ko mbategeka ni mubazane hano mubicire imbere yanje amen 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 uh, it is a long passage, but it is a, a good story. And I believe that it is clear. But let's, let's talk about it. You know, Jesus, uh, in his ministry, he worked hard. Uh, he was teaching. And he would even perform miracles. He would perform miracles. Now through teaching he would use parables. And that is why we are listening to these parables because these were his teachings. You know uh, talking to someone through a parable uh, you know it makes that person happy you speak through the parable and at the same time uh, it doesn't bring uh, chorus amen 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 however you need to understand a parable the, you need to understand the Bible. Because when the Bible was being written, it was written through uh, the Spirit of God. And even us, we are human beings. We ask God to give us His Spirit so that we are able to understand. That is why whenever we read the Bible, we keep on discovering things that we had not understood before. Even if you read it for a hundred years, you will 
uh, God will co continue to reveal something little by little. Now, the parables, uh, a long time ago, we also used to speak uh, parables. Uh, even in the countryside, a long time ago, they will put on fire in the evening, they will call upon children to tell us parables. And often in those parables, uh, they were speaking to someone indirectly. And even at the end, sometimes, and they will say, I think the concerned have already heard. So whenever they will say a parable, they will speak to someone but you cannot stand up and say you are singling me out. Amen. Amen. Therefore, Jesus would also speak in parables uh, talking to us uh, so that we can pick our lesson from them. Uh, you, know, uh, you know the story of Nathan and David? So Nathan as a prophet came and spoke to David as the king, but actually the prophet was greater than the king. And then he told him that there is a man uh, who is very rich uh, who has so many sheep but he has a neighbor who is very poor who has only one sheep so now when the, the, the rich had visitors instead of slaughtering one of the lamb that they has he decided to go and slaughter the lamb of the poor man uh, you know that story uh, in first uh, kings uh, chapter 21 mm. And then David, is it real that there is such a wicked person? And he said, if there is such a man, he is supposed to, to die today. Are you listening? And then Nathan said, actually that man is you. And then if you would have come and said there is a stupid uh, king who come and slaughtered someone's uh, sheep, he would have been killed on the spot. But he came and he used a trick to speak to him in a parable uh, so that he can get the lesson on, uh, on his uh, So there's also another place where we see the prophet Mika. And he was called upon to prophesy because the king Ahab was about to go for a battle so that he can prophesy that they are going to win the battle. So now the prophets that had prophesied that were, just, were still there and there were many and they were powerful because they had been called even before and then they called upon Mika so now when he came and he said these people deceived and he said now these prophets of yours God has put in them a spirit to deceive and he mentioned when they were still there, he also looking at him. Uh, actually, he did not say any parable. Actually, he said how things were. Now, the chief prophet came and slapped him. Now, parables, uh, they can make the story not really that hard for those who are listening to it. Uh, so, they were being spoken to through a parable. Now, our parable that we are focusing on today. 
ngo bumvise ibyo yongera umugani ngo kuko yarageze hafi yiri Yerusalemu kandi kuko bibwiraga ko ubwami bw'Imana bugiye kuboneka uwo mwanya It says because he was near Jerusalem and the people thought that the kingdom of God was going to appear at once Inuma na Yesu bavaga i Yeriko uh, so the, the 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 disciples and Jesus came from Jericho. When they were ascending, going to Jerusalem, uh, in the feast of the Passover. No, no, Barazamok. So they were uh, climbing the mountain. Now, when they're about to reach Jerusalem, that is when he told them this parable. That is when he told them this parable. Because when Israelites had seen Jesus, when he had seen his deeds, when they had seen his miracles, and even the people that he was healing, and even the truth that he was speaking, when they got to know that he is the Son of God, so they said as it was prophesied he has come to take us from the oppression and, of the Romans and actually even the prophet had said that he will come to take them from the oppression of those that were oppressing them no no now he told them a parable in other words it was like you are deceiving yourself what you are talking about right now because they were seeing him going to Jerusalem uh, which is the holy city uh, which is a powerful city uh, which is uh, the city of David now they thought that they're going to enthrone him at Jerusalem. But as you know, he was going there for a different agenda, not to be enthroned. At least So he was not going to be appointed as a king of the world. Now, because Jesus is able to see in, into As people's hearts and to know the thoughts in our hearts, he told them this parable. Ati, and then he said, A king cannot be enthroned on the throne. Uh, the king has to go. He has to go. Uh, so that he can be appointed as a king. Now, when he has gone, there are people who remain behind. Hallelujah. And let me tell you. Uh, when Jesus would reach to a fig tree, uh, he will tell them a parable concerning that fig tree. When he reached where there is a field, he will tell them a parable about a field. When he reached where there is a tree, so he will say a parable based on where he had reached. To. So he did not say strange things to people. He would say things that they knew so that they can have a clear understanding. And then before this, uh, at this particular time, there was a Pilato, who's the, the king of the Jews. And he was appointed by Caesar, who was the, the, the king in Rome. No, no, Pilato. Uh, Pilate, the one who killed the children uh, at Bethlehem. Uh, at one point, he died. Now, when he died, he had uh, three sons. And the firstborn was closer to him, and people were speculating that he's the one who's going to replace him. No, no, 
Now because he also wanted to replace his father. He was also supposed uh, to go to Rome because Caesar the emperor is the one who was supposed to enthrone him. Now when his father died, he also took his way uh, to Rome. And at that time when you're going to Rome, you would not take an aircraft or a vehicle, so it will take, take a long period of time. Uh, he was called Archaeus. Something close to that. No, no, Ajaquima. So he went to be appointed as a king. But there were people who hated him. And they said, We don't want this man as our king. So now they took another way. Uh, also leading to Rome. Uh, to Caesar, I mean. Uh, to Caesar, rather. So that, so that he does not appoint him as a king. So they were lobbying so that he would not be appointed as the king. However, uh, actually when he came back, he came back as a king. Uh, so actually it is a similar story. He was also telling his disciples, I'm not going to be appointed as a king. I will go first, and be enthroned, and then I will come back. I will come as a king. So now he departed. Hallelujah. Amen. And we are expecting. When he comes, he doesn't say, here I am as a king, but he's coming to hold them accountable. And this is where the, the, the issue comes in. Amen. 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 So when he was telling them, uh, them this story, they would remember the other one, which is similar. Because when that king came back, he rewarded those who loved him. And now his enemies were in trouble. Now try to imagine those who say that this is a hard man, he's not supposed to be a king. Try to imagine the trouble that they faced. And so now when he was going to be enthroned in a distant land, he called his servant and he gave them 10 minutes each so that each one of them can trade them. And he said, even though I'm going, it should not be lazy, but he should continue to work hard. But now the issue he was supposed to take long. The problem is Jesus is also taking long. And now even people are starting to be impatient. You may ask yourself how are people impatient, but people are impatient actually. And there are people who are trying to bring closely the kingdom of God here on earth. And that, this is how even uh, the messages about the, uh, the, the grace comes in. People say things uh, well here on earth as it is heaven, but it is not yet so. Now, when you look at this parable, it is similar to the one written in Matthew 25. In Matthew 25, 
abagara gwe bisonga babahaye italanto ariko bo ntibabahaye zingana now uh, the servants were given talents but they were not given an equal number so now in Matthew 25 they tell us that each person was given according to his ability each person was given according to his ability but now the one about minas each one was given 10 so all of us the things we have in common even though we may say some have things which are not similar to those of others all of us were given a place where we are supposed to work all of us we have 24 hours all of us we have something that we can do but if the worship team sings I will not sing if this young man uh, come, come here and jump I may not be able to do that they have time to do their own things I also have time to do my own things so you cannot say there is someone who is being treated unfairly amen 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 so in 1 Peter chapter 4 verse 10 it says Wakani nkuko umuntu yahawe impano abe ariko muzazi muzamuzigaburirana ngo nkuko bikwiriye ibisonga byiza by'ubuntu bw'Imana bw'uburyo bwose It says each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms Rero buri muntu wese afite afite jambo afite afite platform afite aho aho so each person has a platform where he can serve God. Maybe we, we, we were not given money. But we were given other different types of gifts. Maybe uh, we're given a different uh, gifts of, sp of the spirit. Uh, we also have other visible uh, gifts. So we have a multitude of gifts and uh, we cannot use all of them. Because as you use them, they continue to increase. The, the more you use them, the more they increase. But we can see that in this parable there are enemies. And there are also those the, who support the king. Amen. Amen. So the Bible shows us that there are his enemies that it, that it, who didn't want him to be enthroned. So brethren, when you are not on the side of Jesus, you are the enemy of Jesus. And there is no middle ground. And when you do not obey Jesus, uh, actually you have disobeyed you cannot say even though I did not do something good but uh, I'm neutral <laughs> if you have not done something good you have done something bad There are those who said we don't want him to be our kings. Actually, we hate him. Now, today, uh, when you refuse to do the will of God, when God has given you that ability, it is being an enemy of God. It is being God's enemy. You are a good uh, uh, servant. Or you are an enemy. Or you are an enemy. And we know that there are people who have rejected and, and refused Jesus. Uh, there are those who uh, refused to follow the way of the cross. 
Banza gachiza. Uh, who has rejected salvation. Uh, they did not refuse the cross because it is heavy. Because uh, God does not give us a heavy burden. And there are those who undermine the cross. For them, they undermine the cross. Uh, for them, it's like humiliation. However, 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 is refusing responsibilities that Jesus has given to them. You can refuse to take a responsibility, but uh, there is a reward attached to a responsibility. There are people who want to refuse responsibilities. At the same time, they want to be rewarded. But it is impossible. It is impossible. It is impossible. Okay, to Vujera, let's say that uh, you may refuse responsibility. You may also say, I don't want reward. However, now you will not escape from the punishment of those who did not fulfill. How are you going to escape from the, 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 the punishment? Uh, punishment uh, is a repercussion of what he did not fulfill. So they didn't want him to be appointed as the king. Uh, so even these ones now, they didn't want Jesus to be the king. But he will come as a king. So in our parable, he came as a king. And there's nothing they could do about it. Because they're not the ones who appoint king. They don't appoint king. They don't appoint a king. They don't appoint a king. We were created. We were created. We were created. And there's nothing we did about it. We found ourselves in the kingdom of God. We found ourselves in the kingdom of God. Now the king, the king, we cannot say anything against him. And he will come at the right time. That has told him. And when he's going to come, he will hold you accountable based on what you did in his kingdom. So everyone has given a particular task to do. Everyone was given a responsibility. And everyone is supposed to work. And everyone was created to work. And everyone has something that he or she can do. And the king will come to settle accounts. And he will uh, judge. And he will charge. There are also those who are given additional time as an opportunity to work. There are those who receive extra time. You may be sick. You get healed. And you don't get healed on your own. The reason why God has healed you so that he can give you extra time. And the God's time equals work. When God gives you additional time, He's giving additional time to work. So there are those who have, uh, like Hezekiah, he added the number of his years. And I think He also added my number of years. And, but He did not add the, the number of my years so that I can sit down. 
I did not add the number of my years so that I can sit down. Amen. 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 And even others, he gave us a platform where we can speak. As I'm standing here, as I speak, uh, standing here, Maybe it may be you. Uh, so there is no contribution of mine in this. But this is not the best place. Even you where you are seated. There is a platform that you work through. Or a place where you can work for. Uh, there is a place where you can work for. God's I don't know the type of work that you can do. But you and God, you know what you can do. And if you are not working for that, one day you'll be held accountable. Amen. 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 So when the first one came, he said, uh, the coin that you gave me, I made 10 out of it. Amen. Amen. So now the first who was given came to, uh, to give a report. Now these people are in three categories. Let's assume that they were all given 10 million to go and make business. And do business. So we saw those who made profit and those who did not make profit. We saw those who gained even more. And those who didn't gain more. And those who didn't even gain at all. Because they didn't work. Now, when there's this one who came who had made profit. And he said, Master. Now you have given me a work. I worked hard. Now, 10 million that you gave me, I traded them. And then I made a profit of 10 million. Now take back your 20 million because they all belong to you. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, it's like saying, Lord, see where you have put me. I've been a, also a blessing to others. And the gift you have given to me, I have used it and I have proclaimed your name to others. So I did what you had instructed me to do and here are the results. Now, the auditor that I mentioned before, uh, he would be grateful. Now, the auditor and then this is what the king replied. Well done, my good servant. His master replied, because you have been trustworthy in a very small matter, take charge of ten cities. Uh, please clap your hands. And pray and say, Lord, why don't you make like this person? I've just said it. So you use 10 million in business, you make profit, and then you give back uh, the profit to the owner, and then the owner says, now doing business, uh, so you are getting out of business. Now you, you have been promoted. Now you are going to be the ruler of ten cities. Amen. 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 
Let's assume that you are a driver. Now, the owner of the vehicle says, you are such a good driver. If, instead of keep on giving me money, uh, actually, I'm giving you this vehicle to you. So you can imagine that level of promotion. Uh, you were just doing business, so now you are given a responsibility to lead a nation for you. And this is where I said, when you use your gifts, uh, it, it cannot finish. Actually, it increases. Amen. Amen. There are those who have stuck at a certain level because they did not use well what they've been given. Amen. When you use a few things, it shows how you are going to behave when you have plenty. Uh, let's talk about like those who are doing business. Uh, they start from scratch. And that's how you progress, you, you improve progressively. Uh, brethren, we are all of us on our way. And there is no one who is working with another. Everyone has a specific path from God. Everyone has his own talent. Everyone has his own thing so that he uses. And when people get to know them, uh, people will not be jealous. Uh, people will not start uh, being selfish. I uh, will say they don't love me. They don't look at me. Uh, I, I, and I. Myself. So use the few things that you have. And then see how God is going to increase the few things to make them something greater. It's not, it's not a human being. It's not an, another human being. Uh, as a human being, I may love so and not like another person. But uh, come what may a good worker you, have, you love him and appreciate him because he's helping you to make profit now, now the second came and said sir your mina has earned five more on verse 18 so this one he did not make a lot of profit but he was also rewarded by God like the first one because um, our gifts are not there to be compared maybe this one the most important, even this one, also made profit. And the king appreciated what he did. Amen. Amen. You know, the, 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 the issue is to make a loss, but it is good to make a profit. Uh, so, now the small sweet bananas and the big ones they don't have the same size but I've never seen a person saying uh, I wish these small bananas were bigger so this one would appreciate the small bananas and the one who eats the big ones would appreciate them. 
Chinini? Whether an avocado is able to be harvested on a day free, uh, if you eat it, you na appreciate the taste. Toya, na yo and even the one on a small tree, whoever eats it, Ahai appreciates it. Kimne, gusa, uh, so here there is one more one important thing. Chini chini whether it is a big tree or a small tree what is expected from it is to bear fruit so no one cares about it even this one was appreciated because he made a profit of five uh, man, uh, manners and he was also rewarded to take charge of five cities now the third came on verse 20 and then he said sir here is your mina I have kept it laid away in a piece of cloth away in, in a piece of cloth Hmm. Yeah. Uh, ati, amugira ati mwami dore mina yawe narayibitse ifunyitse mu gitambaro kuko nagutinyiye ko uri umunyamwaga ujyana ibyo ibyo utabitse usarura aho utabibye now he said I was afraid of you because you are a hard man you take out of what you did not put in and reap what you did not sow so instead of being grateful he actually insulted him so he did not say here is my mina so that you can trade it so he requested them to go and trade but this one didn't want to do it actually I think that he decided to go no, and no, sleep Aza. and Atu then he came, uh, insulting his master and he said you want to harvest where you did not sow when actually he had sown something in him but he was deceived. And he said, you are a hard man. Actually, if he was a hard man, he would not have given him anything. And how comes he didn't even refuse initially to, re to receive what had been given? So he received it, and now he's blaming him because he was given uh, so what God has given to us he did not do it so that we can hide it Amen Amen, Amen. There is a tailor a long time ago uh, There is a tailor in RD, uh, DRC <laughs> There is even a song which says uh, lies of tailors. So you will you will take your trouser to a tailor to reduce its size. And then you will say, come back in two weeks. And so and then he'll put it at a shelf where you're able to see. Now after two weeks. And then he realized that that's when he's starting to even dust your The same place where he put, he hanged it, it is the same place you find it after two weeks. Now tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Now let's, fo let's focus on you. And this is also how God, uh, Jesus looks at it. Uh, he didn't give you just to hide what he has given to you. He's giving you so that you can work. So that his kingdom can uh, make progress uh, through you. Then, if you are not careful, you will be 
So what we have been given is to be used instead of being hidden. But often, yes, Jesus will realize that uh, there is a lot that would not have accomplished. And may God forgive. And there will be many who would not have worked. Uh, many would not have worked. And you realize that God has given you knowledge. But uh, he realizes that you did not share your knowledge with others. Uh, you realize that the person has a testimony that can edify people of God but you realize that there is not even a single person who has been received who has received so God will give you possessions hallelujah amen and then you realize that you use the same possessions for your own interest and no one else has, has benefited from your possessions. Amen. You have a house but you have never accommodated even a single person. Amen. Uh, you have a vehicle but you never give a ride to someone. Maybe there's someone who is seated here and who said, I don't even give a right to people in my car. But there is something that, that uh, Jesus there are times when I'm entering, uh, when, when it is, when, uh, there are times when I'm going and when it is raining, I ask the person, why don't you come in my car? And then he enters. And then I say, how come you had not asked me to give you a ride? And then he said, you know what? I cannot ask for a ride. And then I'll say, why? And they say, there are those you ask and then they refuse. Amen. Amen. And then I'll answer back and say, Actually, what I'm saying, I did it a long time ago when I was still a, I was still a young man. Uh, uh, there's a time I was going to town uh, coming from the university when I was still a student. So our lecturers had their own vehicles, so they would pass where we were going, but they would not give us a ride. And then one day, one of my lecturers, um, when it was about to rain, he decided to stop to give me a ride. When I say a lecturer, he actually he didn't know me because there were so many students. Uh, but he was merciful because no, it was going to be. And then I said, how come you had not asked for a ride? Now I said also like my brother. And I say, I cannot ask for it. And then he said, how come you, you don't do it? And I say, when I do it, people refuse. Do you know what he told me? So, and then he said, if they refuse, it's up to them because it is their own vehicle. Because they, you know, it doesn't affect in any way. It's their right, they can refuse, but one may accept the same way I have done it. So therefore, you should not uh, refuse to ask for a right just because people refuse. Because there are those who can accept. And so you should not expect everyone to ask, but you need uh, to do your contribution, to give your contribution. Uh, so you can only insult me when you would have asked for a ride and if I have refused to do it. So, so this is what I'm saying. What you have, how are you using it for the interest of God and others? 
There are people who have, who have different skills. Who can do something and then you'll be really happy. Amen. Um, I don't know how to fold the tie well, but there's a time. I don't know how to do it. And but there's a brethren who saw me when I was in a vehicle. He said, please give me your tie so that I can fold it well. So he did good to me. And then he also showed me what he's good at. And then I said, please show me so that I can improve the way I've been doing it. Even though I cannot, I'm not so good at it he, but I think I'm fine. But you are just there, you know something? And it is so one day they will come and, and ask you, what you knew, to, how comes you did not use it? So now this wicked uh, 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 servant, he was he was lying. He was not afraid of him. He was not afraid of him. Actually, if he was afraid of his master, he would, he would try his best so that he does not face his wrath. Now on 22, uh, his master replied, I will judge you by your own words, you wicked servant. You knew, did you know that I'm a hard man? Taking out what I did not put in and reap what I did not sow? Why uh, then didn't you put my money on deposit so that when I come back I could have collected it with interest? Amen. you... Now this servant, he was, um, he was not only wicked, but he was also shrewd. He was a shrewd man. Because he knew a place where they would even make profit out of that. But he did not do it so that at least his master would have come and appreciated him. Now, when we look at the, the gifts that I was talking about, uh, which type of gift are you supporting in your uh, brothers and sisters? Where do you support another person so that where do you, when do you encourage someone else to come to church, for example? Where do you go and see someone who is in despair and say, don't worry, I also went through the same situation. You are able to uh, You may not be having a particular gift, but you can encourage others to use theirs. But this servant did not do it. Then he said to those standing by, take his mina away from him and give to those to the one who has ten minas. So now here the king had given an instruction. He said, take it away and they give it. But now the public, and they started screaming. Now they said, king, that one has ten. But the king knew very well that he had ten minas. Amen. But the, oh, 
But it is the public who should, uh, that w- was saying that there is an injustice there. Say now that one has ten. Now you are taking away from the one who had one, and you are adding to the one who had ten. I want, I want to tell you this. Do you know that if I'm a Christian? No, when I'm a Christian already. And uh, I'm already a Christian. No. Um, I was a Christian. But I used to say that God is not being realistic. Do you know that we can pity this person? Do you know the reason why we do because we relate ourselves with this person. We relate ourselves with this person. So it means that our nature we are lazy by nature we don't want to work and it is God who has to come down to request us to work so these people they had not asked for their opinion actually when they were being given those minas they were not even there so now the owner uses it the way he wants and then they are saying okay oh, now they say that one has 10 and you are even adding however God is realistic and God is fair. So God is fair. The one who doesn't have. No. So the one who has. Is the one who receives more. And the one who didn't work. And even what he had is taken away. So that it is. Because laziness is not accepted in the kingdom. In addition. Uh, the king did not stop from there. Actually, he took him as an enemy. And he was even punished. Therefore, brethren, let us, uh, let us be in a position whenever the king gives an instruction we should obey him. And let us do what he's instructing us to do. So the fig tree was there to bear fruit. But when Jesus looked at it, and he said, this tree is useless. And he cursed it. He cursed it. Uh, so, uh, so that you can have something else that can bear fruit. Therefore, uh, what you don't use that you have, what you have which is unfruitful it will be taken away and it will be given to the one who is working and that is where we started saying that the one who has a talent the one who has a gift and uses them uh, he continued to even to receive more and even what he has is increased and more is given to him and the one who doesn't use what he has even the few things that he or she has it will be taken away from that person and, and then they are given to the one who is working amen amen and productive a field uh, people cannot cultivate it they will go and look for a fruitful field so that they can work it. So no one who is aware that a particular field is uh, bitter and it is unfruitful Ariku cannot we. use it. But the one which is fruitful, ba we, ba, ba uh, they use it every year. And this is how it is. So we need to arise and use what we have been given. And then when the auditor will come to hold us accountable, he realized that he would have done a good job. 
And this that is when we are going to be rewarded. So what I'm asking and also asking myself is that we need to arise and know what we've been given and use it uh, being ready uh, being ready knowing that the king will come back and he did not tell us when he's going to come back he can come back tomorrow or even uh, tomorrow but one even, uh, even after then. so what is expected from us is to have our oil ready to put in our lamps because we do not know the hour and the day Therefore, what I can encourage you to do, uh, this is it, uh, is that when the king will come back, uh, he will find that you have been a faithful servant. Uh, it is possible that in our midst, there is a person who is not even yet at a level of being a servant. As we talked about good and wicked servants, but all of them are servants. But there's also a level of being a, a servant. So the level of being a servant is to receive Jesus. It's to receive Jesus. And when you receive him, uh, he enables you to take steps uh, so that you can also come in his field and so that you can also trade. And if you have not yet received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I can request you where you are to raise just your hands a little bit so that even you, you may join and join God's work and work together and so that when the king will return he will find you among the, the good uh, servants uh, so you should not miss out are you here and you want to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior uh, so, uh, have we all received Jesus as our Lord and Savior? Uh, are we all the good servants? Are we all stewards of Jesus? Uh, we are in his ministry. So let us pray. Kwa tubugie icho gukorwa kwa tubugie icho twakora icho tubugie mana shobora byose kugira ngo umunsi wa uzaza uzasange mana dukwiriye mana shobora byose utubugie ko kugira ngo tuzashimwe ariko dukora tugakora tugutegereje dutegereje umunsi uzaza nti tuzi niba rejo cyangwa rejo bundi ariko icyo tuzi icyo uzaza kuko uzazura umwami ko nubura umwami mane rero ukazasanga turabo guhembwa tuba abagaragu beza udushimwe icyo ni ikintu cyo tugusaba buri munsi turagusaba buri munsi ngo buri muntu wese mane shobora byose uwica ha wese nutari hano wo wagize icyo umushyiramo ukamuteramo ikintu mane ushaka kwakora mane ngira neza kwa haguruka akakimenya akagikora mane shobora byose kuko Mana, nta wundi wo kugikora uhari uretsewe. Mana igira neza watubwiye gukora tutareba abagenzi bacu tutareba iruhande tutareba. Buri muntu agakora uko wamuhaye, buri muntu mana agakora akoresha imbaraga wamuhaye kugira ngo mana ishobora byose nuzaza uzashime. Urakoze rero. Urakoze kuba waraduhamagaye mu murimo wawe. Urakoze kuba utwibukije ko mana ishobora byose muri umurimo nta urutundi ahubwo mana ishobora byose byose biterwa n'icyo turi mu buri muntu ari macyakora eka buri muntu wese Roman shora byose ahagurukire kugukorera ahagurukire man shora byose cyo wamuhamagariye kugira mane gira neza mu bwami bwawe bukomeze gutera imbere urakoze rero urakoze kuri jambo ikubwa Yesu Kristo mwana senze amen pray and believe in the name of Jesus amen ukawe randa kunyotewe wiruganze muri je Thank 